Hey everybody, and welcome to Responding to Comments show on my second channel. And uh, Josh Daly asks, where where do you learn to play all these stringed instruments? And personally, I, I really only think that I can play like like well. I'm I'm fluent. If music is a language, I'm fluent in guitar and bass. Um, and then you know a certain amount of styles in those two. Those are the only two stringed instruments I feel that I'm really like. Uh, uh, at home with and kind of in the, my thinking is if you learn how to play one stringed instrument and a stringed instrument where you, you know you're manipulating the strings like changing the lengths and whatnot then you can really apply that to all stringed instruments because all strings are going to act the same is kind of how I, I see it. I see all stringed instruments in a very simplified way in that like on all stringed instruments if you take a string and then I, I can't reach to it, but then if you go to the middle of the string, which is the 12th fret on a guitar, you're gonna get an octave. And that's true for all stringed instruments, you know, um, whether whether it has frets or whether you use a bow or whether you pick it like this or whether it's on, you know, a, uh, a dr kind of on a drum like like a banjo, that's gonna be true. The, the, the physics, it, physics don't change from one instrument to the next is kind of how how I see it. So if you learn how to manipulate, you know, one string, well, you can apply that to all stringed instruments. Um, and that's also kind of how I learned guitar. A lot of people will learn scales on, um, you know, on, on different strings, which is of course the most efficient way to play scales. But for me, I focused, and I, I didn't do this on purpose when I started, but I would focus on just one string and learn the scale as well as I could on one string. And um, accidentally, I think that really helped me pick up other instruments really quickly because a big difference when you go from guitar to banjo or mandolin, cello, whatever it is, is the, the, um, the how, do I, how do I put it? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? But the relationship between the strings change. But if you know one scale really, really well on one string, you can bring that to any stringed instrument. And um, at least that's a great starting, that's where I start on any new instrument is uh, I just kind of work on one string and then build from there. But yeah, all strings are gonna work the same. That's how I see it. And uh, yeah, that's kind of my, that's my string theory, if you will, even though it's not much of a theory and I'm not really adding, I'm sure I'm the billionth person to say this. But yeah, that's what you get on the second channel. You get rambling. Thanks for watching.